what do you really need from a base case? What's going on? It's Jason Heath, and I realized as I got my case out to put it on my base, this is the first time my poor base has been in a case since March 2020. Oh, what a year. <laughs> it's just been under my bed, and my dog's been scraping it away at it. But it looks good as new. This is the Moradian Deluxe Bag, which sadly isn't being made anymore. Meridian decided to close their shop and they're, they're closed, but they do say they might do a custom order or something like that, the wording on their website. Essentially, they're closed for business, which is a bummer for the base world because this is what people have been using for so many years. I have owned, I think, three base cases in my life, maybe two or, no, you know what? I think I've only owned two and they were both Meradians. I had the black regular bag and then Steve Reinfrank, a luthier in the Chicago area, gave me this maroon bag around the time I started my podcast. So this is well over 14 years old. It's held up quite well, but we'll go through and I'll show you some spots where wear and tear has happened. And in addition to this, I have another case. This is from the company that I work for Eastman Music Company, so full disclosure there, but I have used these cases for many years as well. Back when I was teaching high school orchestra, we had a whole bunch of these for our students, and this is their CA60, their deluxe bag, and it's got some cool features. So I'm working on a project with cases with Eastman, and I'm a multi-purpose sort of person. If I can squeeze a video out <laughs> for any project, I will. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to take a look at why this Meridian Deluxe bag has been so popular, features I like, maybe some things they could have improved on. Take a look at this Eastman bag, some cool features, some things that maybe this case should have, and just talk about what we need in a base case in general. Before we get rolling, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor for today's video, Modacity, my practice app of choice for the past three years, and Modacity has been responsible for getting me back into practicing. I had kind of fallen out of the practice habit, which is a bad thing to do if you're a musician, but that wonderful app with the features for keeping you focused and practicing mindfully, deliberately, that's what Modacity is incredible for. You can check out modacity.co slash cbc for a special lifetime offer for people who follow my channel. Okay, so this is how I have my base when I go to a gig, and again, it's very weird to do this. I've done this so much of my life, and uh, yeah, it feels like a familiar friend getting my base back in the case. But this base is a 7 8 base, a jack stat. It is a slightly oddly shaped 7 8 so it's a little bit loose up here, but then it's tight here. We'll talk about that later when we get into the other case. It's, it's tough to get a case that fits all bases because they're so non-standardized. So if you got to go too loose or too tight, definitely too loose is the way to go, <laughs> I think anyway. And one thing that I think is a great feature about this Meridian is this cinch strap they have for the neck. You do not need this, but it just keeps things from billowing out a little bit, and it keeps the base from kind of rucking around in the bag when you're moving around. It keeps everything a little bit tighter. So again, this bag is a little loose in the upper part, and it can just be a little bit annoying if I don't have that when I'm moving my base around. Now, one of the most important things is handles. Where are the handles? How comfortable are the handles? How secure are the handles? And I have had a Meridian handle break on me once. I think that every sort of bag wears out, so it's not the fault of that Meridian bag. That was the old Meridian bag. Luckily, I was holding onto another handle, so the base kind of pitched and weaved, but was stable. Oh, you know what? Actually, I realized I did have another case. <laughs> I'm such a bubblehead. I had those two Meridian cases, but I also had a case by Soundware. And it was a good case, but I sold it many years ago and I was not sad to see it go because it was heavy. That made it very protective, but that case was just absolutely, uh, just enough extra weight to really make moving the base around a pain in the neck. This lighter Meridian Deluxe, while it probably doesn't have the total protective qualities of the soundware, you're always trying to strike a balance between 
protectiveness and just, just weight as a bass player, moving things around. So I have found this to be great. The handles work wonderfully. And one thing that Meridian does that I think is really cool is that, and this was not on the original bag I had, they have like these extra security handles. So I never grab just this handle, I grab this handle as well. And that is a wonderful feature because it, if one, like they're both probably not gonna break, right? We hope. Now this handle is the other handle I use most of the time and there's no security handle really to grab here. And sometimes if I want to mix it up, I'll grab this center handle here. I feel like that's a bit of a reach for my arm and there's even a handle right here you can use. So it really depends on the length of your arm and where you like it. These are all fairly comfortable. Uh, sometimes when I'm walking with the base, I'll just actually let my left arm kind of rest here and move around like this. And I am using a base wheel. I am a massive uh, advocate for these things. These will save your life. And I should probably do a video on base wheels sometime. Mm. It'd be a fun and possibly nerdy video. <laughs> Okay, other important features, the bow pocket. It, having one that's big enough is critical. This one comes out nice and easy in the Meridian case. It fits this double bow case that I got from Lemur Music back in the day. I don't think that they have these anymore. And when I get this case up on the table to take a closer look, you'll see that there is some wear and tear around the bow, but cases wear and tear and things open up. And on that old Meridian case, I had this stitching come out here all the way. I think I had the same thing around here. Did not have that problem with the Soundware case that I used to own, but it just happens. And I would actually go to a shoe repair place with my base case and they saw it, they just fix it and good as new. When the bow is in the case, you can see that the base is leaning precariously forward. And if you just give it a little, lands on the bridge has happened, oh no, there it goes. <laughs> Happens a lot and not good. So I always have to try to find like a chair or a table to rest it against. And that's just, I mean, I guess that's probably in part because I have the bow case in there and it's heavier, but I need the bow case. Uh, so sometimes just making sure that I have music in there to counterbalance it, that can work well. I would like to show you how the Eastman case goes on the base, but classic Jason, <laughs> I ordered a three quarter size case I, because I'm not using this for my own personal use, we're just working on a project. So this is what happens when you try to put a 7 8 base in a three quarter case, uh, doesn't work. One thing off the bat is they both zip on opposite sides. So the Meridian unzips on the left, like the big zipper, and the Eastman unzips on the right. Not a big deal, it's just some do one, some do the other. Both of them have zippers that continue around. So they go beyond the end pin so you can get the base in easily. Let's look a little more in depth at the Meridian case now that it's off the base. So again, those handles, these three handles right here are excellent for just rucking around with the left hand. Uh, I don't know how I do it with the right hand, but that, that works quite well. Handles on the side. So we've got these double handles right here, like I showed you. You can go either way. And then on this side, we've got a handle as well. Just one. And it's important when you're pulling in and out of the car to have some of these options. You just want to make sure more, more handles is almost always a good thing. I guess it could get too cluttered, but I think that this is a decent amount. In terms of reinforcement, this is the one that gets the, oh, sorry, this is the one that gets the most use for me. One thing I've always been a little bit annoyed at in this case is the placement of this pocket. If this pocket gets full, which it often does because I'm like a pack rat when I'm going to gigs, this handle becomes a little tough to reach in. And I've actually like left my meat in here and it's like poking my knuckles as I'm walking to the gig, which is super annoying. So uh, I wish that this pocket was not right here by the handle. Maybe they played around with some other options, but that's just that's just a small criticism of this case. Uh, the bow case is doing, or the bow sleeve is doing well. There is some wear and tear down here. Uh, we've got a hole that's appearing right here. That will become more concerning as that hole gets bigger. So maybe I should take care of that or 
patch that somehow. Uh, it seems like everybody in my circle's got this Meridian maroon case at about the same time. And so I thought it was gonna stand out on the gig. Turns out I still had a hard time telling my base apart. Um, but I do like the colors. I think that can be a little, it just looks nice. And it's kind of a nice way to distinguish your base rather than black. Uh, probably heats up about the same if it's in the sun. So that's probably not helping or hurting you. Uh, some of these other handles, this one right down here is a loading in and out of the car essential. I use that all the time. These two I rarely use unless I'm like putting it in a van and I need to, to move it around like that. Again, we got the neck strap right here, the cinch strap. I think that is a really useful feature. Another thing I kind of wish is that we had a utility pocket up here on the neck. That soundware case I had did have one of those, uh, but you know, to each his own. Okay, on the back, oh, and by the way, we've got the two little rungs here for a base strap that you put over your shoulder. I have just never been into that because I feel like I'm gonna like destroy my body whenever I <laughs> use one of those and I just feel really on balance. The wheel seems to stabilize me the most, so that's just my personal uh, perspective. Uh, one thing you don't see on this case, and you won't see on the Eastman case, but you do see on the Soundwork case and some other are backpack straps. And and I, I, backpack straps are not my favorite thing and I've seen some bad accidents happen. So uh, I don't know, my old teacher was carrying a very expensive base with backpack straps on an, another case, a different brand, and one of them broke and the base went and bad things happen. So that can happen. Something probably more likely to happen though is you just sort of forget that you have become a lot taller with the base neck and you crack it against a doorway. And then there's something about the base like whapping my, my, <laughs> the back of my legs that just drove me insane. So I felt like I would have to be a turtle and go like this. And it just, the, the convenience of having my hands free was not nearly enough to compensate for just the annoyingness and kind of like precariousness. Again, just me. This pocket design, simple but effective. This music pouch right here holds just about any giant folder I've had to take home. Holds a decent amount of music. You could certainly overstuff it, but again, that can help to act as ballast <laughs> for your bow case if you have that problem of tippage, which I certainly do. And then this, my iPad case, I think of it. And then one more thing I want to show you in the Meridian case that I really do like, and that has actually gotten quite a bit of uh, use apparently, sort of strange, but is this extra padding that they have for the bridge in here. Um, there's a, a gaping wound here and I have absolutely no idea how that could have happened. Um, I guess it must be my bridge rubbing against it. But that one little bit of padding, that is some place you really want to have uh, some protection on on the base. So I think that Meridian, the deluxe case, does a really good job of that. The Eastman case, as I get it up here, it feels already a little more protective, also a little heavier. And part of why it's heavier, I will show you this feature first because it's one that folks might be excited about or confused by. It's these wheels that they have built into the bottom of the case, these wheels right here. And I think that this is a really good option for school bases rather than your standard base wheel. I will get my base wheel. So with your regular base wheel, I'm, I love my base wheel, you're much more likely to have this be lost. Also, this tire is going to go flat and they can be kind of expensive. And if you don't get one of the double bracket ones, you can have this problem of the base bending. And if kids are involved and they're being a little careless or they load up their base case, that's even more likely. I have burned through so many wheels with the one on the side, I can't even tell you. Um, um, but this thing has lasted me, I don't know, 20 years I probably had this wheel, gone through snow banks and everything. So the wheels on the Eastman case will not do you much if you're going through snow because they're actually attached to the case. But you just tip the base back and you wheel it and it is remarkable how much easier it makes it to move around. So I think that this can be great for a lot of folks, but especially students or people in a school environment, they need to be able to cart their bases around either to the shop or to a, a concert or something like that. I think this is a really good option. We'll keep looking at the back here on this and there's only one music pocket on this one. It is a large one and it actually has a little bit of additional 
padding. It feels much more reinforced than the Moravian. In fact, this whole case feels a bit more reinforced in general, and as a result, it does feel a bit heavier than the Moravian, but not by much, not nearly what that Soundware case is. So uh, that's a trade-off I'm willing to make. One thing I really like on this case is that it has this handle on the back, and that, again, just providing you another option for rucking around in a car. I've definitely had, when I've been loading up a bunch of bases in a van, which you do when you're an orchestra teacher like I used to be, this sort of thing was quite handy. And keeping looking at the handles, we've got one on the side here, and we've got our attachments for the strap. We've got a couple more options for strap attachments on the Eastman case. All these handles are fairly well reinforced here uh, in a different style than the Meridian, but I think that it, you, it might take a while to have one of these give way. I don't know if you're gonna have a sudden giveaway like happened to me scarily one day a couple decades ago with my, my old Meridian case. As we go up top, again, we have a plethora of handles. We have handles on all these different sides. Again, good for moving the base in and out of vehicles. One handle over here, and we flip it over, and so, couple things that I like about this design. One is you don't have that handle interference right here, but the problem is this is where I like that handle. So I would love to have this handle here but not everybody likes that. So this is the problem with cases. And this is why you see so many different cases. And the same is true for backpacks and uh, uh, gear like that. It just personal preference comes into play. So this placement might be perfect for folks. And, and these are fairly large pockets right here. I like the size of this one. It's a bit bigger than the, or I believe it's a bit bigger than the Meridian one. It might be, let me check. It's a bit bigger than the Meridian one. And it's got some nice, heft to it. Again, the material is just a little bit thicker. So we get in here and that's a good amount of room for mutes and pencils and that sort of stuff. And this pocket is generally where I put my lunch or like a towel or some other thing. Many, many apples and Diet Cokes and sandwiches have gone in this. And so I do wish that this pocket came to about here. I think that having a bigger pocket on the front is really handy in a pinch. And to me, this is just like real estate you could be using. So in fact, one option could be to move this one down, extend this one up and put another handle right there. That could be a cool option as well. And then this, this handle is useful again moving in and out of the car. This is the one I end up using with my left hand, but I just feel like I'm having to reach a little further over the base than I prefer. The other thing I'm not super sold on with this case is where they have the end pin holder. They do have an end pin holder. It's on the front and it's a little shallow. So when I put my end pin in, it doesn't go in enough for me to close it. Now that hasn't proven to be a problem because when the base is in the case, everything just sort of seems to stick together. Together. Also, because this case has wheels here, you're much less likely to be pulling the end pin out because you're probably using a wheel for that. So I don't know, this is a cool feature, might not be so needed when you have the wheels built in on the back. I don't know what else you could put in here. I really think an end pin might be just about it. This handle down here, again, just for moving in and out of the car, I find that helpful, but having lots of spots on the base case to move around and pivot it. And just like with your bag, you want a lot of handles on your bag when you're putting into the overhead compartment and the airplane and pulling it out, that's almost always a good thing. On this bag also, I would love to have some little pouch here for wallet or AirPods or keys or that kind of thing. I love that aspect of the Soundware case and I think that that would be an excellent offering too. If we open up and take a look at the bridge area, you will see that there is not exact, there's not padding, there's like this extra material here. It doesn't have that extra piece of padding like the Meridian, but on the other hand, this case feels a bit more padded and just kind of firmer in general. So maybe that's not an issue, uh, but that could be a nice option. I don't know that I've hit my base hard enough on the bridge for it to be a factor, but you can see there was wear and tear on the interior, just my bridge being in there. So obviously that's a point that's getting some friction. That's a look at 
two cases that I've used over the years a lot, have a lot of experience with them, and different cases are gonna work well for different people and their needs. If you enjoyed this video on gear, check out this video I did on my recent base stool, which I am digging. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.